Hey there everyone, today I wanted to give you guys a look at my home file server that I use. I've done a bunch of upgrading recently and set up a home server rack, and I figured some of you out there that have subscribed to my other tech videos and stuff might find this pretty interesting. Basically it's just a uh, 24 bay hot swappable server chassis uh, with regular computer components in it except for a high-end RAID card and a uh, SAS expander. I call this Cortex and it's my 14 to 100 plus terabyte file server. Basically, it's six Western Digital 4 terabyte red hard drives in there right now, and I have a total capacity of 24 drives for future expansion. On the left side of the chassis, there's a power LED, two LAN activity LEDs, which aren't plugged in, power switch, reset switch. On the right-hand side of the chassis, there's basically a handle with two USB 2.0 ports attached to it right there. All of the drives basically plug into these little hard drive caddies which slide in and out of the main server chassis. You push the little blue tab to the left and then the little lever kind of springs out and you can pull the caddy all the way out of the chassis. To plug them back in, you just push the caddy back in and then close that lever. The caddies themselves look like this. In the bottom of the caddy there's a bunch of big holes and two smaller ones for mounting 2.5 inch hard drives or SSDs. Then there's two uh, holes on each side of the caddies for 3.5 inch hard drives. The caddies are pretty well ventilated to allow cool air to go from the front of the case all the way through to the back. The server itself is on rails as you would expect in a server rack so you can slide it in and out. And to open up the chassis there's basically just two screws on each side of the top lid. Undo those like I did here, slide the lid towards the rear of the chassis and lift it up and that's that pretty easy. Once we're in the chassis here, you can see that there's four 80 millimeter high airflow fans pulling cool air in from the front through the hard drives, circulating it around the main components here, the CPU and such, and then two more 80 millimeter fans on the rear of the chassis exhausting that warm air out the back. The power supply 120 millimeter fan also assists with exhausting hot air out through the power supply. The CPU in this system is an Intel Core i5-2500K. I don't have it overclocked or anything like this. This used to be an old gaming rig. The memory is uh, Patriot Viper Extreme 1866 MHz, while the motherboard is a Gigabyte P67A UD7 B3 revision. The GPU is an MSI GT210. You can see it here. It's a low-profile card, that's why the little ribbon cable there is going to the VGA. Power supply in this particular system is a Corsair HX 1000 watt modular power supply. Plenty of power for 24 drives. This is the LSI RAID card, it's a 9260-8i. All the RAID card LSI components are under this heatsink here, while this black box is a battery backup for the card cache, so if we lose power the cache can be written out to the hard drives. This cable runs from the RAID card down to the Intel SAS Expander card, which basically turns one port into five. So that means I've got five ports on the ex Expander, and then one on the RAID card that's usable. And that gives me a total of six. Basically, those six all connect to the back planes at the front of the chassis with this big bundle here. They run under the operating system drive, a Samsung 840 EVO, and you can see them connect to the back planes here. There's six connectors right there. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six for a total of six connectors. 